Both teams looking to find their footing here in the early going. Mack with a beautiful dish off to Cheatham, and that opens the scoring. Well, that's Fred Hoiberg basketball. Wilson is double teamed. On the reverse, he softly lays it in. A three coming into the game. Keys runner wide left. Rebound to Nebraska's Udraugo. Here's Burke up the floor. And one. Wilson, the big man for South Dakota State, puts one off the heel. And the scoring drought continues for the Jackrabbits. Beautiful dish off underneath to Hanif Cheatham. Out of new faces, brand new coaching staff, 14 new players. Cheatham lays it home and draws the foul. Institutions in now for South Dakota State. Their bench will be tested tonight because of Nebraska's up-tempo style. And Wilson cans the long two-point jumper. They're not going to crash the glass of getting back in transition. South Dakota State wants to make Nebraska play in the half court. But when Nebraska's hitting a shots, it might not matter. That's Deshaun Burke Jr. And I think Coach Hoiberg said he thought the strength of this team was its wing drivers. Here's Cam Mack driving and laying it in. Rebound by the guard, Deshaun Burke. Cross, Nebraska's leading scorer off the bench. The Huskers' last time out on the floor makes it rank. A little more than halfway through the first half. Here's Cam Mack who lets it rain. And puts it in. Buchanan. Boy, I saw the spin on that shot that you mentioned. Cheatham leads the break and taps it off the glass. Down to Gervais Green. Green slithers his way in, and that one rolls in. So this guy is playing against people in his class who are 19. In the corner, Arians, finally, a much-needed bucket for South Dakota State. Rebound tracked down by Samari Curtis, the true freshman from Xenia, Ohio. Pass is tipped up into the air, and Buchanan tracks it down for South Dakota State. And he gets the layup to go. Coach Henderson gave his jackrap that's a pretty good tongue lashing at, at halftime, so you expect at least a little bit of a fight. And a burst by Cam Mack just looked flat, almost lacking in energy. Nebraska delivered the, the fight. I mean, South Dakota State didn't answer, but they have here in the teams that play at this kind of pace. Michigan State plays really fast as well. And Iowa's the team that's been always eager to get out in transition, but not quite like this. Shot by Douglas Wilson may have been contested by Hanif Cheatham. Mack with the hesitation, and it looked like he was going to try and tomahawk it. Less. Winjet in trouble. That was Green selling out for it, and it's Mack who's got it. The feed to Green for two. On the curl, Shireman contested. Wilson can't poke it back in. Cheatham sprints up the floor, hooks one to cross in the lane. One. Pass over, Winjet, lefty, off the glass. Thorby Arnerson with the rebound. Outlet to Mack, in traffic. And he got the bucket plus the foul. He took on the defense one on two. Officiating crew tonight. Special shout out to Lewis Garrison's mom, by the way, watching the broadcast tonight. Winjet hits. It's, it's still a work in progress with him. He's, he's got a lot of the physical tools you want, but it's put it together. There's a flush from Matt Dentlinger. Curtis for three. Much needed bucket for Nebraska. Mack and Dentlinger. Burke knights in. Blocked by Wilson. Sends that one to Devaney. Key a pretty good driver as well. That's off the underside of the backboard, however. Key took a hard fall, and it's a five on four. Bounce pass. Udrago! So I told Coach Saturday, a shooter, I said, man, we're, we're, we're tied at one apiece. we got to figure out, I don't know if it's golf, paper, rock, scissors, something to score here. But the one thing I always knew playing against Coach Sadler's teams is they were going to defend and play hard. And so you knew you had to match that. Basketball team gets the job done. 90 to 73, the final score. And the first win as a Cornhusker for Fred Hoiberg.